Imagine this. You're walking through a dense prehistoric forest, and suddenly, you hear a thunderous thud behind you. You turn around, and there it is. A bird as tall as a basketball hoop, with a beak strong enough to crush bones. Meet the terror bird. What would you do if you came face to face with this ferocious creature? Let us know in the comments below. The terror bird, also known as Forest Rhapsody, wasn't just a bird. It was a prehistoric apex predator. Standing up to 10 feet tall and weighing over 1,000 pounds, this creature dominated South America's ecosystems millions of years ago. Its sheer size and deadly beak made it one of the most terrifying predators of its time. But what made this bird so unique? Why did it rise to power? And what ultimately led to its extinction? Today, we're uncovering the fascinating and ferocious story of the terror bird, diving into its evolution, its reign as a top predator, and the secrets it left behind for paleontologists to discover. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll know not just about the terror bird's ferocity, but also whether it's even possible to tame such a beast, if it were still alive today. Before we dive into the fascinating world of the terror bird, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you love learning about ancient creatures and their modern counterparts. It really helps the channel out. So where did the terror bird come from? These birds lived during the Cenozoic era, around 60 to 2 million years ago, primarily in South America. They were part of the bird family Forus rasidae, which is known for its flightless predatory species. While most birds today are peaceful seed eaters or scavengers, the terror bird was a predator through and through. They thrived in a time before large mammalian predators took over, filling the role of apex predator in their ecosystems. Fossil evidence suggests they were spread across various environments, from open grasslands to dense forests. And believe it or not, some of their relatives made it as far as North America. Let's talk about that name. Terror bird. Sounds like something out of a horror movie, right? But does it truly do justice to this prehistoric predator? While it certainly inspires fear, its scientific name, Forus rasidae, reflects its classification. Terror bird might be catchy, but was it terrifying to its prey or just to us imagining it today? Let's dive into what made the terror bird such an effective predator. First, their size was their biggest advantage, literally. At up to 10 feet tall, they towered over most prey animals. But it wasn't just about size. Their physical adaptations were terrifyingly efficient. Take their beaks, for example, massive, hooked, and sharp. These weren't just for pecking at seeds. They were designed to crush bones and tear through flesh. Imagine a bird with the ferocity of a lion. That's what we're dealing with here. And then there's their speed. Fossilized leg bones reveal that terror birds could run at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. Picture a sprinting ostrich, but now give it the temperament of a velociraptor. They hunted by chasing down their prey, striking with powerful kicks, and finishing the job with their deadly beaks. But how did they evolve into such specialized hunters? Scientists believe that after the dinosaurs went extinct, terror birds evolved to fill the predatory void. With no competition from large mammals in South America for millions of years, they perfected their craft as apex predators. One fossil even suggests they might have hunted in packs. Can you imagine a flock of terror birds working together? Talk about nightmare fuel. Think the cassowary is intimidating. Imagine it twice the size with razor-sharp talons and a beak designed to crush bones. While modern relatives like ostriches and emus share some traits, such as powerful legs, the terror bird was a true apex predator. It's like comparing a race car to a tank. Both are fast, but one is built for destruction. Now let's talk about modern birds that remind us of the terror bird. The cassowary, for example, is often called a living dinosaur. And honestly, after what I experienced with that bird, I can see why. Imagine a bird with the size and power of a terror bird, but in a modern day package. The cassowary can run up to 30 miles per hour and has a blade-like claw that can do some serious damage. And while the terror bird might have been even more terrifying, it's easy to see how birds like the cassowary and the ostrich have some pretty scary traits of their own. The cassowary's aggression, speed and power make it a perfect example of how the terror bird might have operated, hunting smaller prey and defending its territory with brutal efficiency. And don't forget the ostrich. Though less aggressive, it can still pack a punch with those long, powerful legs. 
It's amazing how these modern birds give us a glimpse into what creatures like the terror bird might have been like. Speaking of cassowaries, I have a personal story to share from my time working at a wildlife park with Australian native animals. On day one, I was warned that cassowaries are extremely dangerous, earning the nickname Keeper Killers. And, no joke, right after being told how dangerous they are, I was told, you'll be feeding them each day. Great start, right? On day two, I was asked to help rebuild an enclosure, and naturally, I thought the cassowary had been moved to another area. I walked right into the enclosure, completely unaware that the bird was still there. After a few attempts to silently get my attention, I finally noticed the cassowary charging straight toward me. I didn't know what to do until one of the keepers shouted, Grab the fucking fence! So I did. I grabbed onto the chain link fence and held on tight until I was safe. Apparently the cassowary wouldn't attack if you're pressed against the fence. But let me tell you, I was glad I knew that trick. As we dive deeper into the story of the terror bird, remember if you're enjoying the content so far, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It's a great way to show your support for more awesome animal history content like this. Of course, even apex predators face challenges. As South America connected with North America, new predators like big cats and wolves entered the scene. Suddenly, terror birds had competition, and it wasn't just other animals. Environmental changes, like shifting climates and shrinking habitats, made survival even harder. Over time, these challenges proved too much. Fossil evidence shows that terror birds gradually disappeared, likely due to a combination of competition and habitat loss. Their reign, while terrifying, was not eternal. So what do we know about the terror bird today? Thanks to paleontology, we've uncovered incredible details about their lives, from their hunting techniques to their role in the ecosystem. And research is still ongoing. New fossil discoveries are being made every year, revealing even more about these prehistoric giants. But perhaps the most intriguing question is this. Could we bring the terror bird back? Advances in de-extinction technology might one day make it possible. And while the idea of taming a terror bird sounds thrilling, let's be honest, would you really want to try? Did you know the terror bird has appeared in some of your favorite games and shows? In RK, Survival Evolved, it's a fierce mountable predator, while Far Cry Primal captures the essence of prehistoric ecosystems with similar creatures. Though often exaggerated, these portrayals remind us how much these predators capture our imagination. Why do you think we're so fascinated with such terrifying creatures? Could there be a modern-day terror bird hiding somewhere in the wild? While science tells us that these prehistoric predators went extinct millions of years ago, some speculate about large predatory birds in isolated regions sharing traits with the terror bird. Take the cassowary, for instance. Known for its aggression and razor-sharp claws, it's often referred to as a living dinosaur. But imagine scaling that up to horse size with a blade-like beak. Suddenly, the idea of a terror bird today feels less like science fiction and more like a cautionary tale. And then, there are the legends. Myths of massive bird-like creatures, like the rock from Middle Eastern folklore or the thunderbird from Native American stories, have circulated for centuries. Could these tales have been inspired by ancient encounters with oversized birds or perhaps even remnants of prehistoric predators? While there's no evidence to suggest the terror bird survived extinction, the possibility of discovering a modern equivalent in some remote jungle or savanna keeps the imagination alive. What do you think? Could such a creature still be out there, waiting to be rediscovered? The terror bird story isn't just about a terrifying predator. It's a glimpse into a world where birds ruled the land. Their legacy reminds us of the incredible diversity of life that existed long before humans, and the delicate balance that every ecosystem relies on. So, what's your favorite prehistoric predator? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're fascinated by extinct creatures, check out our other videos on saber-toothed cats and woolly mammoths. If you enjoyed this journey into the time of the terror bird, Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone who loves prehistoric animals. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We've got more incredible stories of evolution, paleontology, and ancient ecosystems coming your way. And remember, what if the terror bird was still around? Could we really tame it? 
Let's keep the conversation going in the comments. If you found the story of the terror bird fascinating, wait until you hear about the extinction of the aurochs, the mighty ancestor of modern cattle. Discover how this incredible creature shaped human history and why it disappeared. Click on the next video to dive into the untold story of the aurochs. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more amazing journeys into the past.